Hey guys, it's Tricky Nick here. A key element of any Mario Kart game is meticulously designing the courses that all the players will be racing on. However, throughout the history of the Mario Kart series, Nintendo has removed various tracks from Mario Kart games, some of which never saw the light of day. Until today. Today, we're going to take a ride over to these unused tracks and check out why they were removed from Mario Kart. So without further ado, let's -a go. Right off the bat, Super Mario Kart has no known scrapped tracks, so let's check out Mario Kart 64. Surprisingly, Mario Kart 64 has only one unused track that was just recently found. The track is simply known as Town. The track itself is a very rigid shape with lots of 90 degree angle turns, and it takes us through a very generic looking town. There's nothing inherently wrong with this track, but it lacks any real Mario Kart theming. Along with that, the rigid turns are pretty tough to maneuver, so the track would have been pretty frustrating to race in. Furthermore, the map makes it pretty tough to tell where to go because it looks like a freaking maze. Overall, Town looks like it would have been a boring and tedious track if it was brought into the game, so I'm glad it got the boot. Just like the rest of Mario Kart Super Circuit, the only tracks taken out of this game were directly stolen from previous Mario Kart titles. These being Super Mario Kart's Battle Courses. SNES Battle Courses 1-4 to have files of their minimap within the game, so they were likely all planned to be used in the game. Along with those tracks, files actually show the layout of the Award Ceremony track. It's technically not an unused track, but it's basically Baby Park in a grassy environment. It's still pretty cool to see what this track looks like though, because we're never actually allowed to race on it in-game. If you want to call the track in the first Mario Kart Double Dash trailer an unused track, be my guest, but there's not anything I can really say about it. It's just a gray floor that Mario and Luigi Super Smash Bros. Melee models drive on. On to Mario Kart DS. Mario Kart DS is really where the unused tracks begin to pick up because we have 10 unused tracks. Unfortunately, most of these tracks have missing textures, but nevertheless, let's take a look. The first unused track here we have is GCN Mario Circuit. As you'll see in later games, this is a continued trend. This remake of a Mario Kart Double Dash track was likely scrapped due to the abundance of circuit tracks in the game already. Luckily, Mario Circuit made a return in Mario Kart Wii. Next up, we have the most famous unused track from Mario Kart DS known as Noko Noko Course. This beach type course appears to be some sort of Koopa Beach track, which was likely replaced by the much better Cheap Cheap Beach. If you manage to play this track yourself, be sure to avoid the water as it crashes the game. Dokin Course is yet another unused track that takes us through a long pipe-like structure. This pipe structure is said to be extremely glitchy, which is probably why it was cast aside before even getting textures. Test Circle is a circle with one item box in it. Really, that's it? In all seriousness, this course was very clearly never meant to see the light of day, as it was just for testing. Surprisingly, Block City from Mario Kart Double Dash was set to return in Mario Kart DS. Unfortunately, it seems to have been replaced by Pipe Plaza, which has a relatively similar layout with more complexity in the pipes. Luigi Course is one of two early versions of Waluigi Pinball, and this one is especially interesting due to its name. Luigi Pinball. Could you imagine if Nintendo didn't change this to Waluigi Pinball? It would be way less iconic. The course itself is very similar to the final version of Waluigi Pinball, except you can actually go under the pinball machine. It's a pretty cool addition, I don't know why they took it out. Test Course 1 is yet another course that was solely used for testing. However, this track, or lack thereof I should say, is a lot cooler to mess around with. Basically, this area was used to test moving objects such as the drawbridge in Delfino Square and the cogs in TikTok Clock. Just like the other test course, test course 1 wasn't meant to be in the final game, so it was obviously removed. Donkey Course is the second unused version of Waluigi Pinball. The course is the exact same as the one seen in the game, just without any pinballs. But what's interesting here is the name of the course. Donkey Course? Was Nintendo really planning to make this a Donkey Kong themed track? Or was this just an error in file management? We may never know. This next track is an unused mission from Mission Mode known as Mr. Stage 4. While it seems interesting at first, this course was just the Wiggler fight we see in the game, but it has a few adjustments, and they're very minute at that. Just things like lack of music and unused animations, that's all. The final unused track in Mario Kart DS is extremely interesting, as it introduces a mechanic never seen in Mario Kart to this day. The course is known as Wario Course, and it's a rainy version of Wario Stadium. 
This is so interesting because it points to the fact that Nintendo was considering adding some sort of weather mechanic to the courses. That would have been so cool. Unfortunately, they haven't played around with this mechanic since then, but I really hope it gets used in the future. Like, really, really hope it gets used in the future. Moving over to Mario Kart Wii, we have a ton of unused courses. Sadly, all of them are just slightly different versions of GCN Mario Circuit. There's not really any reasons that these tracks didn't make it in, Nintendo just thought the final version of GCN Mario Kart Circuit was the best, I guess. However, it's cool to see the progression of the track development process. The only other unused track in this game is called Course Zero. Course Zero is a slightly different version of Bowser's Castle, lacking collision and boundaries. This course was left in by mistake, and there's not really anything interesting about it. While the one mission mode track that Mario Kart Wii used isn't technically an unused track, I thought I would still mention it because it's still a really cool nod to Super Mario Galaxy and not many people seem to know about it. Overall, Mario Kart Wii's unused tracks are pretty underwhelming, but that one mission mode course is pretty cool. On to Mario Kart 7. Mario Kart 7's only unused track was an earlier version of Mario Circuit yet again. Hmm, wonder where we've seen that before! The course has a few minute changes in shape, but not much else. This course was simply replaced by the final version of Mario Circuit. There was no need for two Mario Kart circuits, and so it was just tossed out. Mario Kart 8 contains a total of four unused tracks. The first of these tracks, for the millionth freaking time, is an early version of Mario Circuit. The only difference between this one and the one we see in game is the lack of music. The soundtrack probably just wasn't ready yet when the file was imported. Sadly, the next two unused tracks are impossible to see since the game crashes whenever you try to load them. The names of these tracks are Reserved XX and Under Construction XX, so they probably aren't anywhere near finished anyways. The last track removed from Mario Kart 8 is called Wi-Fi Test, and it's easily the most interesting track here. The track itself is only an oval with raised sides, but it looks a lot like a real racing track, which I thought was pretty cool. If Nintendo had given this track some personality, they could have had a new baby park on their hands. Unfortunately, it seems that this track was only used to test the online mode of the game, so I don't think Nintendo had any intentions of making this a fully fledged track. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the most recent game in the Mario Kart franchise, and surprisingly there was one track that wasn't used in this game. The track is called Test Dance Floor, which I have a few theories as to what could have been. The first theory I have is that this track was planned to be an Electrodome themed battle track. But the theory I like more is that this was going to be a waiting room for online matches. I think it would have been really cool to jam out on the dance floor with all the other racers in the lobby while waiting for the next race. In my opinion, it would have been a very, very welcome addition to the game. While I know many of you guys are probably asking about Mario Kart Tour's unused tracks, I didn't find any, so that's why I didn't mention it. And that wraps up all the unused tracks found within the Mario Kart franchise. The track I'd like to see most would probably be the Noko Noko course from Mario Kart DS. This is because it was the most fully fleshed out course out of all the tracks on the list. Doken course also looked like a pretty interesting concept, but since it lacked any detail, it's hard to judge. Anyways, let me know what tracks you guys want to see in the next Mario Kart game, and I will see you all in the next one.